signs after her dog died while trapped in a storm drain. KTLA's Wendy Burris live in Newport Beach with more on this incident. Wendy, good morning. Hi, good morning, Frank. Well, anyone who is a dog owner or a dog lover can certainly feel for this owner of the 150-pound Mastiff uh, that was killed in this storm drain last week. Now, this storm drain is right in the Santa Ana River bed. Now, this is a flood channel. It's right between Huntington Beach and Newport Beach. The owner of that dog joins us now live. This is Maddie McNaughton. Maddie, thank you so much for joining us. And we know that you've put up a bunch of these flyers and then you actually went in after your dog. Can you tell me what took place last Thursday? I brought my dogs here to play ball um, on Thursday and I threw their ball in the water just like every other time that I have. Next thing I knew, a wave of high tide came in and I my baby was getting swept towards the storm drain that you just saw. I did everything I could. I dropped everything, jumped in the water, but it was so deep that I couldn't touch. Do you feel you were risking your life at that time as well? I most definitely was risking my life because at one point the water was rushing over my head to where I couldn't breathe and at that point I had to let go of his collar knowing that I'd never see him again because my hand was slipping from the wall above me. Um, I don't remember after that how I pulled myself out all I remember is running to the other side hoping he'd come out but noticing that the other side is graded so whatever went in wouldn't come out since this has happened uh, County Works has been here they put up this orange netting but you want much more to make this area specifically that drain safer for pets and people that frequent this area because this is a real popular area especially for uh, dog owners and they have uh, their dogs off leash here Yes, it is very popular. Just five minutes before I threw their ball, there was actually a man and his two kids playing in that exact water. Two kids that didn't weigh nearly as much as Rupert did. That It could have easily have been them. And why there's no grate on this side where the public is, it baffles me because there's a grate on the other side. And the other side is completely fenced to where you can't even get to it. It just doesn't make sense. We're so sorry for your loss. Sorry that you've lost Rupert. You call him a gentle giant. Definitely you were baby, but... Uh, Thank you for taking the time. And again, uh, Maddie says she's not going to stop until this place is safer for pets and for people. But it stands as a good warning for so many people that do use these areas and other flood channels throughout Southern California. That is the very latest. I'm Wendy Bochenson. Back to you.